the heroic games launcher that you can use to manage GOG and Epic Games on Linux and Steam Deck and even Windows and MacOS just had a huge new version released with 2.5.0. So here is a quick run over a couple of the big new features. If you've never used it, this app is incredibly useful. On Steam Deck here as my example, it can be installed via the Discover Software Center. It allows you to log into GOG and Epic Games and have your library there. For GOG it allows native Linux games and for you to run Windows games with Wine or Proton and for the Epic Games Store it runs them all with Wine or Proton. A great new feature is the Downloads Manager allowing you to actually queue up various game installs so you don't have to do them one after the other manually. You can't move their priority around yet so it's based on the order you hit download on each of them. Something very useful for the Steam Deck is a new option to automatically add installed games and apps into Steam so you don't need to launch Heroic first to access them. My example here is installing a game called Dark with the auto add to Steam setting ticked. You'll see that after it's downloaded and installed I boot back into gaming mode, search in my library for Dark and it's there. And then when I go into the properties, we can clearly tell from the launch options, well, this is not a Steam game, it's using Heroic. And then when I go to launch it, after a few moments, it loads up, works, and I can actually get into the game. Now remember, this is a game that I do not have on Steam. I have this on the Epic Game Store. So I've installed Dark through the Heroic Game Store, and then I've automatically had it add itself to Steam. So for those of you who are claiming lots of free games on the Epic Game Store, or if you are buying games on the Epic Game Store, then this is a really useful solution. Another big new feature in this release is what they call app sideloading. So you can now add anything into Heroic, regardless of where it was installed from. So you can add things you've already installed from Discover into Heroic, or you can actually use Heroic as an installer and game library manager. So for my example of the new sideloading feature, I've downloaded the dedicated EA app for Windows. And now I'm going to install it using Heroic on my Steam Deck. When I enter the name EA app, it will also search through Steam Grid database to see if it can automatically give it an image as well. And a very useful feature here is the ability to run an installer first. So this is where I'll select the EA app installer from my downloads and let that run first. When the EA app is actually installed, I'll close it and I'll go into the install directory to find where the actual installed launcher.exe is to add that as the shortcut for my new EA app in Heroic to actually run. It will be installed inside whatever folder you chose and by default you will then be able to go into the PFX folder, Drive C, Program Files, Electronic Arts, EA Desktop and then scroll down to actually find the installed launcher.exe. After that, we can launch the EA app from Heroic and you will see that it works. So I will log in and then I'm going to give Dead Space 2 from the EA app a download. Now for external launchers like this, the auto add to Steam option doesn't actually work. So I can go into the EA app inside Heroic, hit the three dots in the top right corner and select add to Steam and that will still do that for you. Then when I boot back into gaming mode, the EA app shows up in my non-Steam section of my library so that I can launch it. And then from there, I can launch Dead Space 2. Now remember, that was downloaded through the EA app directly. And what you'll see is that Dead Space 2 is launching from the EA app inside gaming mode that was downloaded through the Heroic Games launcher. Now this won't work for everything, but for a lot of things it will work. And as you can see, it's really not that difficult either. The Heroic Games Launcher just makes managing GOG, Epic Games and standalone things that you download just a lot easier to manage. There is a lot more to this release and I'll put a link in the description. I hope you found that interesting and I'll see you later.